Hey guys, it's Jim with Modern K9. The nice people over at iDog Mate sent us this large dog ball launcher for my dogs to do a review. So first I want to show you what you get with the ball launcher, how to use it, but also I want to show you the best practices that we found on how to teach your dog how to use a ball launcher. So stick around and let's get started. The ball launcher has a very large tray on the top to catch the ball when your dog drops it. On the business end, where the ball comes out, they have a patent on the gears inside. They're concave, which helps grab the ball if the ball is slobbery or wet. And also on the bottom of it, they have slobber holes where all the water and slobber can come out. On the front has a little handle so you can carry it right here, the little indentation. Your charge indicator is right here. This is a barrel plug charge on and off button. Three different programming settings that you have. You can program it for long distance outdoor shooting. You can do random. You can do uh, inside RVs and houses setting if you want. It's all programmable. This can skip through your programming options. If you don't have your remote control, it's okay. You can still use it just fine without your remote control. Your power adapter here is a 110 or 220. It has a standard 110 volt plug and it has a barrel adapter here. The remote looks a little complicated. This is the on and off button right here. There's a display that tells you all your nice little settings here. Speed, you can manually adjust your speeds. These are programming buttons right here. You can program up to three different programs. This is random, which is just that. It'll shoot the ball from low power all the way up to high power. Pause will make it wait for 30 seconds before it starts playing again. Rest is just that. It'll wait until you tell it to continue. Trainer is a button that it will launch when you push that button. So you can wait until you want the ball to launch and then push that button. Speed returns to the last speed that you had it on. The remote can work up to 40 feet away from your ball launcher and it has replaceable batteries. So now let's look at what we have found as best practice to teach dogs to play with the ball launcher. There's only one thing that you'll need a whole lot of and that's patience. Just plan on a few hours and a few sessions to teach your dog how to use the ball launcher. Some dogs will learn faster, some dogs will take longer. We would also recommend that you train only one dog at a time by themselves. Having two dogs chase the ball will distract the dogs from the project at hand. We would also recommend that you use only the ball launcher to toss the ball until he has a good understanding of the purpose of the ball launcher. When you're ready to start using the ball launcher, choose the desired distance that you would like the ball launcher to launch, from power 10 for short distances through power setting 99 for long distances. Now, for the first 20 to 30 times, just grab the ball whenever your dog drops it and drop it back into the ball launcher. There's no need to use any words unless you already have a drop it command to drop the ball. Don't worry about trying to get him to drop the ball in the ball launcher. Remember, you are the source of the fun, not the ball launcher yet. Continue doing that until your dog starts to anticipate the ball being launched from the ball launcher. Next, for the next 20 to 30 launches, start dropping the ball in the ball launcher and backing away at least 10 feet from the ball launcher. Don't talk to your dog. You want your dog to stay around the ball launcher in anticipation of the launch and not follow you from the ball launcher. When he starts to look at the ball launcher and not at you for the ball to be launched, you're well on your way. Again, there's no need to use any verbal commands because he has to figure out that the ball launcher is the source of the fun now. Now this is where the patience kicks in. You'll start to see your dog drop the ball next to the ball launcher and then he'll pick it up and bring it back to you a few times. Just pick up the ball, walk over to the ball launcher and drop it back into the ball launcher and back away. And lastly, just watch him try to figure out how to get the ball launcher to launch the ball. This is probably the coolest thing for me to watch how the dogs try to figure it out. The first time they drop the ball into the ball launcher is the coolest moment that you'll find.
We hope you've enjoyed the review and tutorial and have found it helpful. Please leave a comment below on your experiences on teaching your dog how to play with the ball launcher. And until next time, keep dropping the balls in the ball launcher. <laughs>